Budo 41 Beta 3 has been released with over 150 changes. In the official site of the version, we can see that this is likely the final beta release of the cycle and the first release candidate of Gudo 41 is soon to follow. This means Gudo 41 is super close to us. So today I'm gonna be checking out this new version and its new features. Now let's start. So here we are, Dev Snapshot 41 Beta 3. In order to find this post, um, if you can't find it here in the latest news because you are seeing this video maybe sometime later than uh, the video was published, uh, you will click here it says more news and then here you're gonna look for uh, this exact post and you're gonna click okay so here we are on the post and um here we have some information that i read uh, on the introduction basically saying that this uh, version is likely to be the final beta release of the cycle and the first release candidate is soon to follow remember um that this version of uh, the engine uh, has been in beta for like a month or something like that so probably during this week, uh, you are gonna be receiving the official version of Gujo 41. So if you wanna be the first one in noticing this new update, subscribe to the channel because I'm always uploading the latest news of the engine. Here we have about what's new: uh, 74 contributors, something around 150 improvements for this release, and here we have uh, all the list with the changes. I read all of this information and if I'm honest, uh, I didn't find something that is super amazing. But remember, uh, we are um, in the beta period, so it's obvious that they are not gonna be adding a lot of uh, new stuff or um, th they would just improve the existing features or if they add something, something like the tagging system uh, in previous releases, it's something very, very small. So now uh, let's jump to the download section. As always, you have this standard build with GD script uh, support, or also you have the version uh, with C sharp support. You can download any of them. But in my case, I'm gonna download the standard builds. Uh, here, how all the versions um, you can download. In my case, I'm gonna download version 464. And um, always, we do upload a zip file, as you can see, which you have to extract. And there we will find the executable version of Gujode. Okay, so here we have uh, the C file. I'm gonna to open it uh, with WinRAR. And then here, as usual, we have the application, the executable file of Gujode. And uh, we also have here uh, the console of Gujode. So if we double click the executable version and we we'll wait just a couple of seconds, here we have uh, the Gujode engine. So I'm gonna quickly explain the manage tags uh, button, the tag system. This system was added a couple of betas ago, but it's super interesting because now you can, uh, for example, I can select this project that is from the previous beta. Okay, I can click here, manage tags. And here I can add some tags to my project. For example, if this is a prototype, if this is currently under progress, uh, or for example, I can create a new tag and say, for example, that this is a project from beta 2 and well this can contain spaces and must be lowercase so this is gonna be like this i click ok and there i have tagged my project so now if i click for example here the prototype tag i only see the projects that are tagged with this tag of prototype uh, also uh, i can sort by the tags right here so this feature is incredible but for example there are some things that should be fixed or added that for example i don't know how to delete a, a created tag i mean for example i have this completed project tag and if i want to delete it i can't um i try to right click it uh, click the delete key and nothing seems to work but okay remember we're currently under a beta so let's just quickly create, create a new project and i will name it a uh, 41 beta 3 I will create a new folder, leave the render as default and click create and edit. As usual, Gujote is able to load and create the project in such such few time. It's super fast as you can see. Um, so the interface and everything seems uh, very similar to the previous version. Remember that we also have the functionality uh, to make a window floating. 
So I have here my floating, my file system window floating. So I could drag this in my other monitor, for example, if you have one, or I could also, for example, move the good out uh, right here and then open the file system here. Uh, th there are lots of possibilities, or for example, when it comes to scripting, uh, you can also make floating the script editor. So I could move it, I don't know, uh, well, right here, uh, where is it, script editor. So for example, I could move it, let's say right here okay so yes there are lots of things you can do uh, but these features were added uh, a couple of versions ago uh, they weren't added exactly on this beta but um, anyway now uh, let's create something very basic to just try out the workflow of this version I want to create a new to this scene and I name it main inside this main uh, I would like to add uh, one sprite and quick load the icon of Goodjoe. Then I'm gonna duplicate twice and I'm gonna move uh, these three sprites, for example, right here. Then inside my main node, I would like to create an object empty script so that we have no functions or comments. Um, and here, inside my ready function which is called remember as soon as the game starts firstly i would like to grab my first sprite and uh, change the modulate to maybe color dot red and then I will, I will also grab um the second sprite sprite to the two dot modulate to color dot blue and finally, I will uh, modify the modulate of the uh, third sprite, color dot um, red, blue, and yellow. Let's do. So now, as soon as we start uh, playing, our first sprite will be red, the second one blue, and finally, the third one will be yellow. To try this out, I'm going to click here, play. I have to select a main scene, so I'm gonna select my current scene. Also, I will have to save it. And here I have my icons color. I don't know, uh, one doesn't has up. Ah, okay, here I made a mistake because this is gonna be sprite. Um, where is the dollar symbol? Here, sprite to the three that's modulate yellow. Okay, and here we have it. So as usual, the Joe works perfectly fine. Another thing that uh, I would like to try out is uh, the web editor version. So yes, we are here in the version 4.1 beta 3. And I'm gonna click where it says start with Joe editor. Okay, here we are. Again, we have here the manage tags feature. And, but I'm gonna create an project and name it 4.1 beta 3. Create folder and create an edit. Okay, I don't know uh, why it crashed, uh, because I've been here in this empty window for like a minute or something like that, and I tried to click here, editor or game window, but nothing happens. So I had to close the window, open it again, I'm gonna try that again, start with Joe Editor. And well, the editor starts pretty fine, it doesn't take a, lot, a long time. So I'm gonna try to open uh, the project again. And if again it doesn't let me to open the project, I'm gonna try to create a new project. Uh, well, let's try this out. Well, it doesn't let me open a project. So as it doesn't let me create a project in uh, this version, I would like to show you that actually this version should work uh, in the previous one. So I'm gonna open for um, one the four no for uh, one beta two. Okay, yeah, and I'm gonna start the good Joe editor. Okay, so here I could uh, successfully load the editor, but now uh, let's make a, a new project. So I'm gonna name it test two, create folder, create an edit. And well, as you can see, these versions I can I can completely create and open a project. I don't know if some if this has something to do with my PC, with the browser that I'm using. I don't really know. But the thing is that I couldn't use a web editor on the latest version. 
Also remember that uh, you have the version for Android devices. You can download it by going to the download section. And then here, uh, you're gonna scroll down a little bit. And here in the supported platforms, you're gonna click where it says Android. And well, here you can download the Play Store version or the APK version. Remember that the, the Play Store version, you can update it whenever they launch a new version. But if you download the APK, you, you can't update it. So if you want to update the APK, you will have to uh, delete the application and then come back again to the Good Joe website and install everything again. That's why the Play Store version uh, is way better. So that was all I had to say. Uh, subscribe to the channel for more content related to Good Joe. And if you really want to know the latest information and updates of this incredible engine, make sure to stay subscribed in the channel. And also turn on the notifications. See you on the next one and bye bye.